Here we have a typical in-tank fuel pump module assembly. We're going to go through the steps in order to replace this into your tank. Before we begin the repair, we want to remove the negative battery cable. We will now bleed the pressure out of the system using the pressure gauge, making sure to catch any fuel that you bleed out of the system into a safe container. In order to do a proper fuel pump replacement, we need to clean the inside of the tank and that will require the removal of the tank. In order to remove the tank, we have to disconnect our fuel filler hose, our emissions hoses, we need to remove the fuel lines, and disconnect the electrical connector. We want to be sure and clean the outside of the tank before we remove the fuel pump module. This is to keep any unwanted debris from getting in the tank. There are four basic ways that fuel pumps are retained into the tank. With the bolt-in style retainer, you will just simply take the retaining nuts off and pull the pump out. With the twist lock retaining ring, you will take a non-ferrous brass punch and turn the ring counterclockwise to remove it. Always inspect your tank ring, ensure that it's not damaged to hinder the reinstallation. With the snap ring style, you will be required to use a set of snap ring pliers in order to remove it. It's always important to look at the snap ring to make sure that it's not compromised in any way as far as with rust that would inhibit its ability to seal properly. In order to remove this jar lid style retaining ring, you will be required to use a spanner wrench. This can be attained at most parts stores. Be sure and adjust the spanner wrench for proper fit to avoid damaging the retainer. Now we can remove the fuel pump module from the tank. The reservoir at the bottom of the module will contain some residual fuel. Be sure and capture this into a safe container. It's important to clean the tank inside and out. Cleaning the tank is a time consuming and dirty job, but it is the single most important thing as far as a proper installation of the fuel pump. We need a clean environment for the pump to operate in. We'll slide it into the tank, noting the arm not to bend it or just form it. Now we can install the tank back into the vehicle. We're ready to reconnect the negative battery cable and cycle the key in order to charge the system. We'll start the vehicle and monitor pressure to assure that it's within vehicle specifications. To remove the gauge, we'll shut the engine off and bleed the pressure from the system using the pressure relief on the gauge, making sure to capture any fuel in a safe container. 